could ask for your name and organisation before your question, please. Uh, good afternoon, Pep. Ben Ransom, Sky Sports News. Um, Raheem Sterling had to pull out of the England squad with a back injury. Can you give us an update on his condition? Is he fit for the weekend? How has yeah, he been in fit. training? He's fit. Yep. And how has he been in training? The last day is better. It's well known the club want to sign him up to a new contract. Why has the process taken so long? Because we've been talking to you about this potential new contract for nearly a year now. About Raheem? Uh, well, it's uh, well known that uh, we are the light about him. We would like to continue. The club asked me my opinion about that. Uh, we share our opinions, and after it's club and Asian. Rahim Asian, and I am upside, so I'm not involved. How much of a priority is it for the club, though, to get him to agree this deal sooner rather than later? Well, but sometimes this kind of thing needs, needs uh, their own time. So the important is that Raheem and, and his people know how delight we are with him. But after that, maybe it's happened, maybe not. You revealed in an interview in Spain that Kevin De Bruyne has that 250 million euro release clause. Given the way that transfer fees go up and up and up, is there a, a danger that someone might actually come in and pay that sort of money for him? No, I don't know what is his release clause. So the journalist, when Jorge Valdano asked me about, uh, you will sell it for 250 million? And I said, no, but it's my personal opinion. But uh, he has, he, in England, there are not release clauses, so you have to negotiate with the club. So he doesn't have a release clause in his contract? No, I don't over. think so. I don't think so. Brilliant, thank you. I don't think so. Um, Pep, yesterday Manchester City released their annual results, the finances, and within that it, it said that Sheikh Mansour had put in over a billion pounds. What is he like as an individual? Because obviously without him, what we have here couldn't exist. No, the club could exist. The club could exist for yeah, all this. Yeah, that's true. That's why I said that he's the most important person to, to help us and all of us, all Manchester City, uh, to make a step in front. So, of course, he, they decided and they invest and, and after they choose the right people uh, because not just with the money you can do that. So the money is so important, but after they choose the right people from the beginning 10 years ago to make a step forward. How, how have you found him? You, you've met him. We've never met him. He very rarely comes to games here. How do you find him? Is he enthused by Manchester City? How? How is he? Well, he's, he's a, a young person. I thought he would be older. He's young. His physicality is so strong. He likes the sports. And uh, he follows us every weekend, every game. He knows. I was really impressed when I spoke with him. He knew absolutely everything. He knows absolutely everything of what happened here, the team, the way we play, or what happened in the club. He's involved. Does he get in touch with you even when you don't go to Abu Dhabi no. or just when you go to Abu Dhabi? I am always, always in touch with, uh, with Khaldun, with our chairman. With him I am quite in touch every weekend, twice, three times. But uh, with uh, Sheikh, Mans Sheikh uh, Mansour, no. Hola, Pep Enric Gil, de Catalunya Radio. Um, what do you think about uh, some, ga some games uh, can be played in another country? We have the recent example of uh, Barça and Girona that will play in the United States. Uh, do you think that uh, it can condition uh, the, the league? Well, I don't know. It's a, a question from, from the people there. Uh, uh, so always there are in lights the first time, maybe that's happened in Spain. It was the Super Cup finals playing in China, in Italy, for example, in other places. Now it's the first time it happened. The first night is always the news. But if it works, it's business. It's a sport, but it's business too. And uh, if it works, maybe in the, in the future more teams are going to happen, not just in Spain, uh, in other countries. We will see. Hi, Pat. Pat, over here. Um, you said a couple of times before the international break that you felt that the season starts starts for real now. Are you happy with how the squad is in terms of fitness and focus? Yeah. 
even even so we are start okay one month ago with a competition final in four Premier League games but now starting the terms we start earlier and we have one week a game now we have every three days game games all the team so that's why I start everybody you know to be focused what we have to do does anything change in training is it is it more intense or is it is it the same as it was at the start of the season? Or? Well, when we have one week, you have more time to, to train, to prepare, to talk, especially not for the immediately future, so for anticipating what's going to happen in the next month when you don't have time to work too much. So now when you play every three or four days, it's regeneration and prepare the game. So less training session and be ready for the game. I bet. What major threats do Fulham pose to you this weekend? I'm really impressed. I was delighted watching them because I had two weeks. Normally, when you have just three, four days, we don't have too many time, not too much time to watch our opponents. But in that, in this case, we were two weeks. I had time, and I saw three games, and I am really impressed. So I understand when I watch them the reason why they are in the Premier League. They are. A, a real good players with Saric, for example, and of course experienced players in front with Mitrovic and so on. So, And the way they want to play is a team, it's not just long ball channel, it's, they want to try, they want to make his own game. And I am pretty sure he's going to make a good season, I am pretty sure. Hi, Pep, Andy Hampson here from the Press Association. Everybody um, fit. <laughs> well, okay, okay. On Kevin, then, how, how is he progressing in his recovery? <laughs> uh, progressing well. It's not fit for tomorrow, but it's progressing well. The future doctor told me that it's getting well. So, hopefully, the you know the terms for two months and a half, three months, is going well. That's perspective. Okay, th thank you. What I also wanted to ask you is, um, are you disappointed that Merseyside police haven't been able to identify anybody that was involved in the disturbances at Anfield? Oh, I'm sorry? The, the disturbances with the bus at, at Anfield in April, are you, are you disappointed that the police haven't... I'm not a police. The cameras were not good there.